This band is anything but the huge, massive body of work, but several name changes. The band Jefferson Airplane took off, no pun intended, <laughs> in 1965 before evolving into a, a revised version of itself called Jefferson Starship. A few legalities later, the name was shortened to Starship <laughs> and an almost completely different lineup in 1985. But no matter what their name is, the hits speak for themselves. And don't you want somebody to love? Don't you need somebody to love? And need you go chasing rabbits And you know you're going to fall Find your way back Find your way back to the I mean, huge. Oh, we huge. were rocking out to all of those hits. Just love it. And now Jefferson Starship's original members, David Freiberg, Donnie Baldwin and Kathy Richardson, have brand new music on the way for the first time in 12 years. They join us now from California and Chicago. Hey. Hey, T. The band's back together. Hello. Hello. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? We're doing just great. Thrilled to have you on the show. Uh, Donnie, to you first. I mean, the band has had many reincarnations. So how much of the entire three eras of the band's back catalogue and legacy uh, do you embrace now? Do I embrace? Yeah, all of it. I, I embrace all of it. I mean, we embrace all of it when we play live. I got into the band in the early 80s, all through the 80s, and then came back in the early 2000s. But yeah, we embrace everything. We love to embrace. <laughs> <laughs> Must be taking you back to the 60s for it, that sort of time. Although embracing is not allowed right now. No, no Free touching, love. guys. No, no touching. No, no Kathy, touching. let's bring you in. You're the band's new lead vocalist in 2008. Uh, the new Jefferson yeah. Starship EP is called Mother of the Sun. So what's the yes. meaning behind the title? And, and so there's been various sounds of, of this, in, this band throughout the decades. What's the new mm -hmm. sound? What can we expect? Um, I think... You know, it's new music. It's you know more modern production techniques mixed with um, analog recording. The sound of the harmonies, the anthemic choruses. I think it's uh, it's new Jefferson Starship, but it definitely is connected to the original band. Obviously, having David and Donnie uh, singing in the background vocals that brings it all together. Oh, yeah. Sure does. David, I mean, what was it like shooting the, the music video for the single and, and releasing it now uh, compared to the process I I back in the 70s and 80s? Uh, it seemed to be a lot. I, I liked it. It was more fun this time. <laughs> but I, I'm finding that everything is more fun with this band, so... That's great. I mean, Kathy, Kathy, bringing you into this again, I mean, following in this iconic band into, into Grace's footsteps, you know, she really paved the way for a lot of female rockers at the time. Uh, how do you feel yes, like the, the representation of, of, of women in rock has changed for better or worse over the past few decades? Uh, it's definitely changed for the better. Um, but if not for people like Grace Slick and Janis Joplin, uh, yeah. I mean, they really paved the way and definitely influenced me as a young singer growing up. I never in my wildest dreams, I would end up singing in Grace's place in Jefferson Starship. But in fact, we did write this new single together. Uh, it's about time. And it is a female empowerment anthem for, uh, for this time that we find ourselves in. And who would have yeah. known, huh? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, so yeah. cool. Totally. I mean, David, you were an original Jefferson Airplane member. Uh, so you played Woodstock oh, wow. in 19... No, no, no. No? Not quite. Not oh. quite. I was I was in the Jefferson Airplane for the for the very end of the Jefferson Airplane and okay. the beginning of Jefferson Starship, so... Got it. Did you play at Woodstock, though? No, I didn't. No! I was oh. We, played at, the... oh, <laughs> I we was... played at the 40th anniversary of Woodstock. We did okay. that. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, so, Donnie, I mean, when you started as a drummer, as you said, in the 80s, that's when it went to Starship and it had those huge hits at that period of time. We built this city, Sarah. 
Uh, we built the cities written by Bernie Taupin as well, Elton John's partner. Uh, what was it like performing those songs? And, and how are you feeling knowing that, you, you know, you, it still lives on to this day? That music, it keeps coming back around and gets bigger and bigger. Well, that's kind of the beauty of what we do. I mean, Jefferson Starship, when I joined, was, was musically a different vibe. As it morphed into the Starship, we used different producers and um, different people joined, different people left. We kind of went uh, into a, a different direction musically. I, it was exciting having the hits and and, and, and feeling that whole other vibe. Um, I've always loved a lot of the old stuff, but you know, when things are happening, you don't fight it, you go with it. It was a lot of fun. Um, and it's like David said, with this band, we, we do play a lot of those songs. We keep playing them. People definitely want to hear them. I had a great time in the Starship. It was great. We, we had some great songs. And, and uh, what's great about this band now is we incorporate a lot of different songs from the airplane to the Jefferson Starship to the Starship. And, and uh, it couldn't feel any better than it does when we're on stage. It's great to have it all collated and, and to have no sort of animosity there yeah. to, and for the fans as well. Uh, thank you all so much for being on the show. What a thrill. You have a lot of fans here in Australia. We appreciate your time. Thanks. Wow. And everybody our get our new record on Golden Robot Records, a great Australian record label. It's called Mother of the Sun. Thanks, you guys. Thanks oh, for having yeah. us. Yeah. Did the plug for us. We really yeah, appreciate thanks, it. Guys. Thanks, Kathy. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Mother of the Sun thanks. is out next Friday. Available on pre-order pre it now. It includes that single, It's About Time.